Good day, brothers and sisters, community. Today, I am here to, I guess, add on some more information about the chakras on the Native American side because, you know, as I think about it and as I, you know, put it over people, I kind of like to be more info about it. Why? Because, you know, it, it, it just carries a, too much. And, you know, I will explain to you from top to bottom, going from the crown chakra all the way to the root. That's in that order. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What I'm going to do. So um, to start out with, I'm going to go ahead and start out with the crown chakra. We know the crown chakra. In a native way, that is, I know. I know what? I know, first of all, when you get to that level of your seventh chakra, you should be able to know that there is a higher connection and you are connected in a higher realm. And, you know, the connection is so unmeasurable to where it's unexplainable. Only you know what you're going through at that point to where this is your connection with the higher beings, with the creator, with the sky people, whomever your higher beings are, whoever your source is, you are connected. And you got there by working on yourself. But however, I know that you, when you say, I know I can connect with the highest, which is the infinite place, which is, the, you know, the astral area. When you get to that point, you know, knowing and getting to that point, you went through a lot because not, not because you get there by, you know, just coincidence. You got there because you worked hard on yourself. So, the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, basically, I go more in detail about this, but, you know, this is what we call I know. I know chakra because this is where you know you can get connected to the higher, you know, higher source. So, from that, I go down to number six, which is the pineal gland, which is the third eye. You know, the third eye. That third eye is what we call I see. I see meaning what do you see? I mean, are you like you looking around? You say, I see this, I see that, I see this, I see. No, that is more like you are looking at. I see meaning that you see the higher realm of things, the unimaginable, the unexpected things that come about you. You know, when you get to this, you know, pineal gland, uh, the sixth chakra, you get to a point to where when you see, you get visions. I mean, how do you explain a vision to a person that is not in the same, you know, conscious level as you are? You know, if you know, you're up on the sixth level, you know, the sixth chakra, which is the pineal gland, the higher, and the person comes up to you and says, What are you talking about? What do you see? And you're trying to explain the unexplainable to them. How do you explain that? Because they will not understand. That's why when you work on your, you know, your chakras, raising your vibration, you got to get up there and stay there and live it 24-7 because you cannot allow yourself to bounce back and forth from the 3D to the 5D, 3D to the 5D because you got to stay at that 5D level. Now you can get down to the 3D level and observe and and but not be part of it. So you have visions. Phenomenon happens, you know, like Space beings come before you and or Bigfoot comes up to you and says hi, you know. So these things, when you see it, 
you know, it's in most of the time, it's in the esoteric realm to where things are unexplainable. So don't just be uh, looking when you look around, you know. Looking is a physical object, like I'm looking at my glasses, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing, you know, the mixed energy around me. I'm seeing, you know, whatever comes before me, you know. So that's the third eye that one can do. Again, I go more deeper into this in the class. Now, the, the next one is the fifth one, the throat, the Blu-ray shop, which is basically in the native ways, I speak. I speak what? I speak with harmony. I speak with love. I speak in prayer, you know, and I speak with chants, you know, and I, when I speak, my speaking raises vibration because your words, your voice is powerful. You, as they say, you either speak in white language or black language. So when you speak, it is so powerful. You got to, you got to be able to, you know, share your power in a nicer, very calmly way to where you're not, you know, strong at hurting people's feelings because that's one thing. As as I was taught at a younger age, they said, don't speak to a person to where you hurt their heart. Don't speak like that. Always speak in a mindful, you know, prayer or, you know, always speak with good vibrations. That way people will hear you. Not just listen, but they will hear you, what you are bringing across to them. So from there, again, it goes more into detail because once we, when we sing, you sing with your voice. Your vibration comes up. So all these things, you know, is going to be brought up, everything. So the next one is heart, your heart chakra, which is transformation, which is in our way is I love. What does I love look like? Well, I love means that when you love something, your love has to show in so many ways. You know, I remember when I was, as a kid growing up, you know, if we saw a snake, boom, kill it, kill it, kill it. Why? Why kill that snake? And th then I start asking myself, why do I need to kill that snake? That snake has a spirit. That snake may, I mean, he's not here to harm Anybody, I mean, he, he, you know, he might protect himself by, you know, striking at you, but that's because you're in his territory. I mean, it's just like us. If somebody comes in our territory unexpectedly, we have right to defend ourselves. And it's just like that snake. And, if, and so now I tell him, go on, go your own way. You got plenty of land out there to be roaming around. Why you want to come to the house? You you seeking yourself danger because any other person will come and the first thing that comes to their mind is to end your life, which is kill you. But that's not how we should love everything. Mother brought us this earth to where we need to love and care for mother's animals also. So, and believe me, the dogs know they can feel your love. The cats will feel their love. Feel your love, you know, and when they feel your love, they'll come and share their love with you. I've I've had cats and dogs come up to me, you know, and just share their love, put their head on my chest because they feel comfort. They feel my love. And that, that just, you know, makes me feel good. But, you know, love is energy, energy that you need to share with others. It's also powerful. Love is powerful because love will get you, you know, to a place to where 
people when if if they're not filled with love and they're in a meeting just rep, 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 and you show up with love and they see that love in you, they will transform. And with your love, you can transform people about love without even speaking a word. By your actions, you can share the love that you have. So another one is the solar plex, the third chakra, which is in ours is white, which is energy in the medicine well. In the medicine well, we talk about, you know, energy and, you know, it's north. And that is the I do. I do. You know, and what is I do is I do is energy because whatever you're doing, it will take energy to do it. You know, it takes connection. That's the part of your connection that you are working on to get to that higher realm. The first part about it is that I do in that third energy chakra, which is the third part, the white north medicine well, because that is where transformation begins. And, and you know, when you get to the I do, the power within, you start realizing your power within, because this is where we go mind over matter. Mind over matter will bring out the power within you and it'll get you motivated. It's motivation. You know, when you say, well, I'm going to do this and roll over and say later, that's not motivation. But if you say, I'm going to do it, I can do it, I'm going to finish and by the time you get started, and when you finish, you're going to say, wow, that was not as bad as I thought. Because you raised your vibration. You raised your energy up to where you did it without any any kind of problem. I mean, when you did it, things will go fast. So, you know, energy, again, the white north medicine wheel is the start of transformation you know so when you get to a transformation then you go back down to which is west which is i feel i feel that's you know more like what do you feel is who who is feeling it your your physical body or your spiritual body and that again we go back to the chakras the chakras go back to say it's survival. The it's also a sacred, sacred part of the chakra. I feel meaning that, you know, I feel when you get into a position to where, you know, you're in a hard place, you know, the first thing they do is you're gonna pray. I mean, I've had a lot of people, I've witnessed a lot of people says, I don't believe in higher power, I don't believe in that, but I guess I tell you one thing. When you get when we got in a hard situation, guess who was on their knees first? And I said, okay. Because they felt the fear of earthly fear to where they sought spiritual comfort from the higher realm. And this is where we will start working on our spiritual comfort to where one thing is that forgiveness. Forgiveness, you know, I've had a lot of people come up to me and says, so and so did this to me, so and so did it. It's un unbelievable. Da, da, da. I need to just cut them off, cut them off, cut them off out of my life. I said, well, rather than doing that, why don't you just forgive? If you forgive, you're a better person. Just forgive them and let them go. You know, you don't have to cut them off because they know what they did to you. If you forgive them, and they know what they did, they might have a little remorse to seek forgiveness from you from what they did to you. But be that first one, first thing, first person to forgive. So, you know, we look at that part because in the medicine world, that's black, west, water. Water is spirit. Spirit is emotion. Emotion is what you got to work on, you know, sacred part, emotion, 
because you got to work on your emotions to where when you go up to the higher realm, all your emotions have to be, you know, within you, taken care of to where there's nothing holding you back because hidden emotion is what gets a lot of people held back. You know, that's why the best thing to do is forgive. When you forgive, you forget. You know, forget it, let it go, forgive, and move on. So, and then come down to the first chakra, which is red, south, which is root, which is Mother Earth. And that is, I am. And when you start, you know, when you start connecting, you got to understand, I am what? I am ready. I am ready to step in to the spiritual realm. I am ready to seek my higher energies. I am ready to seek my higher vibration. I am ready to transform into a higher realm. And so it will take mother's connection, father's connection, to start learning how to connect. And we talk about this with our chakra class, with our native alchemy class. We talk about connection, meditation. When you meditate, you start seeking your inner journey, you know, because this is a journey that you start when you start connecting with mother and father, creator, whatever you're calling, your source. You know, when you start connecting, this is what starts your journey. Now, other things that we do back home that I was taught is that we fast. Fasting doesn't really mean you starve yourself to death. Fasting just means that take away what you are, you know, used to. You know, take away what makes things easy for you. You know, and, and I'm not saying get, live a hard life. I'm not saying that. Just take away what, get out of your comfort zone. It's basically what I'm saying. When you get out of your comfort zone, you will see that things are there, which is unheard of. You know, when you get out of your comfort zone, you start observing, you know, you start gaining, you start working on your common sense. You know, we've seen a lot of people, we've met, a lot of people that they may have a simple problem, but they make a big thing out of it. And when you look at it from the outside, it's a simple problem where you can kind of tell yourself, they have common sense, they can figure this out. But we don't tell them that because it's not for us to judge. All we have to do is we say, let's work with them. Let's see. And that's what we're doing when we connect with mother and father, they're going to work with us to say, okay, he wants to go up higher in his higher realm of spirituality. Let's see how we can work with him. Creator, mother, you know, they will start working with you. The more you connect, the more you meditate, the more you, you know, start to control yourself and redirect your life. That's the beginning, very beginning of your transformation. Because remember, when you get to the third chakra, things are starting to transform in your life to where when you get to the fourth one, you are transformed. You are a totally different person from when you first started connecting to when you get to the fourth, because you know, you will get rid of your get rid of your emotions, your emotions, and you will work on your, you know, your spiritual, you know, contact, your forgiveness. You know, you'll, you'll work on yourself to release what is holding you back. And once you release that, you go to the next one, which is the vibe energy, which or transformation start. When you work on your emotion and your energy together, you know, your mind over matter, both of them will basically transform you into the fourth chakra, which is vibration. And so, you know, Again, these are the seven things that we, you know, look at. And that is, I see, which is the seventh chakra. And 
when you say I see, oh, I'm sorry, I see it's a sixth chakra. I mean, you you know, you're starting to look at the spiritual aspects, the you know, esoteric stuff, and the physical. You can start separating both, but the spiritual is unexplainable. I know. When you say I know, I know you, you when you say I know, you are confident enough to say you are connected with the higher realm. Things will happen to you. Manifestations will come to you. All these things will come to you. Healings will come to you. Everything will come, start coming to you. you you know, identify your protections, everything. So then we come down to the fifth chapter, which is I speak. Be careful how you speak. Careful of what you say, because these things, you know, people remember, you know, people remember a lot of things that the negative part, but the positive part, they will get used to it to where it will bring you respect. Now, go down to the fourth shop, your heart. I love, show your love, you know, show your love to not just humans, but to animals. Plants, mother, whatever is out here. Show your love to them. Then you go into your third chakra, which is a solar plaque, which is I do. You know, this is where your energy is. I can do it. Whatever you whatever you are seeking, you connect with mother. You, know, and you take care of yourself. And when you get to the I do part, you start working on your mission. So... That's the I do part because things, again, that's where transformation starts, you know. Second is I feel, you know, what do you feel? What does that look like? What does it feel like? You know, it's hard to really work on what you feel because of a lot of mixed emotions that we have of what we have gone through in our earlier years. And then, root, I am. I am going to start. I am going to connect. I am going to do this. I am going to do that. And it takes that I am commitment. Continue to start working on your vibrations to rise. But anyway, this is just some of the things that I want to share with y'all. And with a little insert of us saying that currently we do have a special going on with our native alchemy and chakra class. And, you know, to understand all this, to learn all this, you know, we have a special going on. And you can find out more about it on our healthy and harmonious lifestyle.com web page so feel free to lock in on our web page check it out healthy and harmonious lifestyle.com and you'll get the information on our classes the cost like I said is buy one get one free and you can register online and just feel free or if you have any questions you know join our um, email address and give us give us a shout out, be, and we'll be glad to answer and respond to you as soon as we get your email. So, with all this said, I love you all. Y'all have a wonderful day, and keep up the good work. I love you. <laughs>